Hi, I'm AJ Sabine. And I'm Kristen Oaks. Thank you for joining us for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, the only TV show bringing Louisiana farmers and consumers together every week. There are only 125 dairy farmers left in Louisiana. That's according to the latest ag summary from the LSU Ag Center. One way for dairy farm families to survive is to process and bottle their own milk. As well as Avery Davidson shows us, the Flowing Hills Creamery in Belmont, Louisiana is finding success by letting the cream rise to the top. This is where every good dairy begins. You have to start with good cows. Good cows make good milk, and you also need good people to take care of those cows. And that's exactly what the Sallies do here at Flowing Hills Creamery up here in Belmont, Louisiana. Let's go take a look at what they do. From the label to the cows, you'll notice something different about milk from the Flowing Hills Creamery. For starters, Carlton Sally has three different breeds of cattle on his farm. Holstein, the ones most people associate with dairies. Jersey, the second most popular dairy breed. And then there are these cows. They're brown Swiss, and they're known for having very rich milk. That cream-rich milk works well for Flowing Hills because the milk sold here is not homogenized. That means the cream still rises to the top, and you have to do like your grandmother always did before pouring a glass of milk, shake the jug. Carlton Sally says it's just healthier that way. In homogenization, you break down enzymes that it's known that your body needs. And by doing what we do, you don't break those enzymes down. At Flowing Hills, the Sallies also pasteurize their milk a little differently, again to preserve what is naturally healthy in this milk and destroy potentially harmful bacteria found in raw milk. We do a low vat pasteurization. We get to about 145 or 50 degrees for 30 minutes, and then we immediately cool it back down. From the time we start, our process of pasteurization, we try to have it back cooled down and ready to go in the bottle within two hours. And this is where the Sallies pasteurize their milk, in this pasteurizer. This is the second time someone has used this piece of equipment to make milk that is not homogenized. You see, it used to belong to Warren Smith, owner of Smith's Creamery. After an explosion destroyed the Smith Creamery in June of 2011, it sat unused until Carlton Sally bought it. The destruction of one creamery led to the rebirth of a dairy in Sabine Parish. You see, even though Carlton Sally has been raising dairy cows since 1979, he got out of the business in 2008. But just last year, the Sallies decided the only way they could make it in the dairy business was to bottle and market their own milk. They planned to start small. This pasteurizer changed that plan. It was 600 gallons, and we had to change the complete form of the plant and add on to it before we ever got good started. It seemed like God just directed and opened those paths and those doors and so we begin to pasteurize more and as we get it out to the public they're they're wanting it more every day. I never intended for it to, to grow like it has but I've been really blessed. Blessed is a great way to put it because there was a reason why the Sallies got out of the dairy business six years ago. It is tough to make ends meet. It's his experience at a local farmer's market which set Carlton's mind at ease. I knew that it was going to be okay when you start, after two or three weeks, you have local return people, you know, just come back with their eyes chest. Well, I knew then it was going to be okay. Right now, you'll find Flowing Hills Creamery milk in stores from Shreveport all the way to Monroe. But the best way to try their milk, their butter, and even their sweet tea is to go to one of the five farmer's markets they visit every week in Shreveport and Alexandria. Make sure to tell them that I sent you over there. And I can tell you now, we brought home a couple of half gallons of their milk. And when I say we, I mean me and my son Adam. He went up there with me. Their chocolate milk tastes the closest that I've ever had to the Smith Creamery milk the, since the explosion but it didn't last very long. That whole half gallon was gone in about a day. Adam just downed that sucker. So it takes like a milkshake in a bottle, I believe you yes, said? And, yeah, and you have to shake it up too because the cream rises to the top. Mm. Kristen, I'm wondering why you and I and the rest of the Twilight team didn't yeah. receive a sample of this fantastic milk. Blame Adam. It's all his fault. Blame Adam, he downed it all. Thanks, Adam. 